Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we made it to Esperanza. Now, unfortunately, uh, we have trouble knocking at the door of this very troubled city. So, let's go deal with that, shall we? Apparently the Armada has arrived, or something. So, I guess we're going to have to stretch our legs and get our ship into combat. Now, this is kind of a bit of a battle here. <laughs> We've got a bit of a boss rush that the game loves to throw at us. Ah, Vase, you're back. I think you need to see this. Oh. Oh. The Ogura. Another flagship. That huge armoured ship belongs to uh, Admiral Gregoro. Yeah, so... Oh, the, yeah, that was the guy that was being really creepy with uh, Ica. So, Gregorio is the best defensive tactician the value in Armada has ever seen. They even nicknamed him Iron Wall. Yeah, this guy's a dick, and he will ram you. Uh, that's not fun. However, thanks to a little tip that I have... We can get around that, hopefully. Interesting. He's forming a blockade around the town. Prince Enrique. I've come on behalf of Grand uh, Admiral Gregorio. He has an urgent message for you. I see. Well done. I hope my prince finds himself in good help. In good help? In good health. I have heard that you had a change of heart, or were perhaps brainwashed by the air pirates. Ah, no. That's not the guy that was being a creeper. It is the old man. Empress Theodora has sent me to escort my prince back to Valua, so he may recover. If my prince refuses to comply, my ships will regrettably begin firing upon the city tomorrow at noon. Your humble servant... Gregorio. Hmm. Uncle Gregorio is asking me to surrender. Uncle? Oh, Gregorio was an admiral in the Armada, even before my father passed away. He helped raise me when I was growing up. He's always been like an uncle to me. I know that he doesn't want to fight, and he really does want me to surrender. But I can't go back. Not after everything they've done. Even if that means I have to fight him. Enrique? Let's rest up for tomorrow. Gregorio is the most honourable man that I've ever met. He won't break his word. Uh -huh. I understand. We should rest on land tonight and keep you off the ship until tomorrow. The last thing you need is for your uncle to see you throwing up over the railings in the heat of battle. Great. Now you're starting to sound like Ica. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Let's stay at the inn tonight. We're going to need our rest. Yep. Hell of a battle. Tomorrow. This is quite a long one as well. Okay. Might actually be worth dropping a save, you know. Maybe. I think we can. Can we save it out here? I forget. It's been a good little while since I've played this. Probably, yeah, probably just over a week. Okay, cool. Uh, last time I played this, I was on holiday. Good times they were. All right, let's drop a save. Yeah, this is this is pretty rough. Okay, let's see what these guys have to say. Degenerate ex value and soldier. Isn't that Admiral Ironwall's ship? What's Gregorio doing here? Well, there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, you're not wrong, but don't worry. We're going to go and uh, deal with him. <laughs> it's time to go fight. <laughs> it's such a monumentously exciting uh, occasion. It's time to go fight Admiral Gregorio. It's going to be a tough battle. Give it everything you've got. Aye, aye. 
Hey, you aren't actually going to fight against the Amada, are you? Huh? You're planning on fighting Admiral Gregorio by yourselves? Yep, that's the plan. I don't doubt your abilities, but I used to be a valiant soldier. I know what the Admiral can do. Going up against one of their Admirals is crazy. Yeah, well, we've already body bagged like three or four of them, so... Our ship is the best there is. We're faster than Gregorio's ship, and I think we can match his firepower. Oh yeah, just a little bit. But even if you win, you'll never get through the Dark Rift. Like I said yesterday, our ship is the best there is. Our engines are more powerful than you think. And it might just be powerful enough to get us through the Dark Rift. Besides, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to see what was beyond the edge of the world. That very edge is right in front of me. I have a chance to do what nobody has ever done before. I have a chance to make history today. But if I said that I'm not scared, I'd be lying. But I won't let this opportunity pass me by. The chance to fulfill my childhood dreams lies right in front of me. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? <laughs> I suppose then, no matter what I say, you're not going to listen. Come aboard, dude. The Dark Rift is a giant vortex. If you can't get through one side, you'll reach... Oh, if you can get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It's rumored that that eye is calm. There are other calm pockets along the edge of the Dark Rift. If you find one of the pockets, you might have half a chance. Uh -huh. I see. Thank you. I'll come back here when I'm done. I promise. Come on. Let's get our ship ready. Yeah. Kid, you're just like me when I, I was your age. Put the bottle down, you bum, and come on board. Admiral, the Delphinus is approaching. It's moving into attack position. My orders were to bring him back alive or kill him if he refuses. We must do everything in our power to take him alive. All ships, prepare to attack. The Delphinus is the Armada's most powerful ship. Our adv adversaries may be young, but we can't underestimate them. Faze, the Armada is getting ready to attack us. This is it. Everyone, man your battle stations. We've got to get past Admiral Gregorio's defences. We'll defeat him. Then we'll get through the Dark Rift and reach Yafutoma. Aye, aye. Right, let's kick an ass all three. Look at that thing. Air pirate scum, hand the prince over. You'll pay for kidnapping and brainwashing him. Oh, really? Is that what you think? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to... Is it the... Applying the spikes to the ship and can improve attack and defense power for two turns. Okay, right. Let's slather on some gear grease for a couple of turns. We're not going to worry too much. Um... So, what crew do we have here? Using the crew command, she will replenish one character's MP. Using the crew command, he will double all of your spirit points for one turn. Ah, that's quite useful. Using the crew command, he will raise your chances of attacking first for a full turn. Using the crew command, he will protect your ship from enemy cannon fire for a full turn. Um, yeah, I guess. Nah. I don't think we need it. Not on this ship, anyway. Uh, okay, so what we can do here... We will also use some magic. We could use some quicker. But I think for now... Let's just use Ingram. And I guess, you know what, let's use quicker anyway. Sure. We're going to have plenty of spirit points. We're just going to soak the damage for now. That little ship literally has no chance against the Delphinus.
Fragmentation, eh? Yeah, we got plenty of points. Lebly jebly. Let's buff our ship. Why not? Yeah. It's dishing out some decent damage, but in reality, eh, it's not that bad. Yeah, they're slowly bringing us down, but we've got plenty in the tank. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to use a, nah, we'll use a Dulux kit. And then we're shredding with the moon cannon. And we should, I don't know if he'll survive a moonstone cannon. I think he will. Nah, I don't think no, nah, I don't think he'll survive a moonstone cannon. Not this guy. We shall soon see. Yeah, he's barely tickling us really. Come on. Awaiting orders. That was a fatal mistake. Let loose the primary weapon. Yeah, f nearly 50,000 damage. Jeez. That dude had no freaking chance. Nice amount of gold in the pot. Fina leveled. Hey, got some speed wax too. Lovely. <laughs> They're loving it. Yeah, go, turn. No, not that way. You idiots, what are you doing? You're supposed to fire all your cannons right there. Yeah, get them. Hey, they're not that bad. Huh? They still need to get past the next line of ships. They still have a long way to go. <laughs> yep. At least we have an audience. So, next in line, the battleship. You'll never defeat the second fleet of the Imperial Armada. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, sure. Right, first thing we're going to do. We are going to buff. We're going to go for Ingram. We are going to go for... Quicker. And then we will gear grease and gear grease. And let's go. Now, unfortunately, gear grease and, uh, well, when you buff your ship, it only lasts for two ship turns, unfortunately. But that's okay. It's not permanent like it is on the actual battles. Taking aim? Taking aim with what? You got nothing. Or do you? There we go. Fully healed. Now the advantage of using items, of course, is that the... Oh, ho, 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 yes. Quicker does uh, improve your chances to dodge as well, which is really nice. Um, yeah, so using items doesn't use your spirit gauge, which is really nice. Ooh, well, that rattled the paintwork. Okay, so we just need to tough it out for another turn, which we absolutely can do. Uh, I mean, I guess what we'll do, we'll just... God... Guard, guard, and then we will unleash. No, we want to make sure we're completely buffed, actually. Right, what we'll do 
Let's... Now, I know we're already buffed, but hopefully next turn we're going to want to save some of those points to use uh, our cannon. So, actually, let's rebuff again because we don't want to buff next turn. And next turn it will have run out. At least that's my understanding. Right, and then we will go for some gear grease and a deluxe kit. We just want to bide our time until we can use our primary weapon. Speed this up a little bit. A little bit of damage, nothing major. Plenty of gear grease. Yeah, we're fine. Right. Let's close in and look for an opening. Nice. Let's ruin him with the spirit cannon. And I guess... Give him some of this. As well. And then... We'll finish it off with a Dulux kit. We should... I don't know if they can survive a hit from this thing anyway. We'll see. They might be able to survive one. Let's see how much HP he has. Ooh, just. That's cool. That's why we lined up the other cannon shots. Just in case. Yep, he's done. He's done, son. Shredder bomb and crystal ball. Very nice. All right, we're doing great. Well, yeah. Gregorio's ship is dead ahead. He'll be in range shortly. Uncle Gregorio, I can't let you take me back. All right, full speed ahead. It's now or never. All right, now this one is a little bit more of a challenge. This ain't some two-bit ship. Prince Enrique, please forgive me for taking up arms against you, but you leave me no choice. I will not allow you to escape. You will not get past the... Uh, uh, I don't know how you say it. Aguria. Guria? Yeah. Now this guy, uh, he's an ass, and he will actually ram us. That's bad. So we are going to go for a deluxe kit. And then we are going to stack so much gear grease. We should be okay. I guess we'll... We don't want to hit him with the advanced cannon. No, I don't think we're going to attack, but what we are going to do, we're going to use some magic, and we're going to get some Increm going. Get the ship patched up. Come on. Come on. Oof. We got hit, but that's fine. As I stated before, Gregorio has been nicknamed Iron Wall by his peers. He is the Admiral's best defense tactician. I have heard that he sets up a tight defense and waits for his enemy to make even the smallest mistake. It is then that he attacks. Is that so? Well, all right then. Okay, so let's drop a shite ton of ordnance on him. And then we will go for Deluxe Repair Kit there. Missed, of course. Evasive action. Ooh, that hurt him. Yep, nice. Get those torpedoes up in the air. I like the way we actually have proper torpedo launchers now. Nice, get patched up. 
We just scored a nice bit of uh, damage on him as well. Okay, so what we want to do here. This is potentially painful. We want to... Hmm... Let's get a do Lux kit so we're patched up nicely. We want to. Ah, we're not buffed anymore. Right. So let's get Increm going. And I believe. I can't remember if we use. I guess we use Quicker. Is it this turn we use it? I guess we're about to find out. Or it might be. We're meant to use it on the same turn. I can't remember. Either way, we should be okay. If he rams us, it really freaking hurts. So I got this tip. Uh, from my official guide and from the game's librarian. But unfortunately, I'm not sure whether it means you have to use it on the same turn, or the same action, I should say, or whether it means... to use it on the one before. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. That is so cool. So I think it is on the turn that it happens. Yeah, we dodged his ram attack. Now he's going to pay. The enemy vessel's wide open. Let him have it, Vase. This is it. Right, let's hit him with the primary weapon. We're ship shape in Bristol fashion. So, we're going to hit him with the advanced cannon. Knock him hard with the moonstone cannon. Or can we? Who does the most damage? Probably Vase. So, let's optimize the strategy a little bit. Yeah. Get the Moonstone Cannon out. Ah, uh, we can't blast them twice. Ooh, that would have been beautiful, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's just hit him up with the Advanced Cannon. Uh, hit him with another Advanced Cannon. And that's going to leave us pretty much out of power. I don't think he's going to survive an attack with our primary weapon anyway. Here we go. Ooh, nice. God, that's so satisfying. Oh, okay. He just survived. That thing is literally just duct taped together now. Will the cannons finish him off? I think so. Yep. He's done. Not burning though, interestingly. Nice amount of money there. Hey, Ica leveled. Excellent. Captain Stripe, heavy armored deck and 12 inch cannon. Not bad. I always thought that if we were ever in battle together, that we'd be on the same side. Prince Enrique, is there anything I can do to make you reconsider? No, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back to Valua. I know that you've noticed a change in the Empire as well. They're headed down a dark path. 
trying to rule the world with an iron fist, it will be valuer's downfall. This world, the sky, it's not valuer's to rule. It belongs to the people. And to right the wrongs that Valuer has committed, I have decided to travel with Vase and his companions. Tell that to my mother. And also, that I pray every day for her good health. This is goodbye. I must go. Be well. Farewell, young prince. Should have finished the ship off, really. Cut the bastard in half with the cannon. But hey, that's just me. Those, ki <laughs> Those kids are great. They just took out the Armada with one ship. Yes, we did. They made me feel like sailing again. Yeah, well. I'm still looking for some crew. Vage, you put on quite a show. Did you make it back from the Dark Rift? I hope you come back here and take me with you. I can't believe I'm saying this. You hear me, kid? You better make it back. Oh, we'll make it back. Don't you worry about that. Okay, uh, now. Let's have a little look at our equipment and whatnot, shall we? Uh, if I can remember what button it was. There we go. So, oh, our ship's actually repaired again. Which is nice. So let's get rid of this. Ah, okay. Interesting. That 12 inch cannon apparently isn't as good. Alright. Oh, well, we'll keep the 10 inch cannon then, I guess. Okay. Uh, right, let's use our Captain Stripe, which is not there. Um, we've got plenty of repair kits. There we go. Another 2,000 health. Yeah, interesting. Those advanced cannons. New rotating main cannon developed for value and destroyers. Yeah. High caliber. Okay. Right, now we've got some other equipment as well, I believe. So we've got the bore up kit. Let's try. Ah, oh wow. Okay, it's not. Hmm. It does actually do a decent amount more. We'll go for the heavy armored deck then. Okay. Oh, I see. That's what's confusing me. So if we highlight that, it actually says minus 60, where in fact it's just telling us that's what will happen if we unequip the item. Yeah, so our default defense is 60. And that puts it up to 115. Almost double. Not bad. Right. Well, uh, that was actually quite the battle. We've... Um, Made it to nearly half an hour. So I'm going to drop the save there, guys. And when we come back, well, we're either going to punch through the Dark Rift or we're going to go exploring and getting some more um, discoveries. Not decided which yet. Probably going to go through the Dark Rift. Need to look up to see if there's any more discoveries we can get. I know there's a few, but it's going to be a little bit of a pain to get around and get them all. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.